G'day team, welcome back to the channel. My name's Tony, this is the Mighty Overlander and it is time to go camping, finally. Um, I've been away from the campsite now for a little while. So I thought, you know what, um, I haven't had that many campouts this year so far and we're in the about mid-March time. So yeah, it's time to get out and have a bit of a camp. Now today um, I'm going to head down to Wellington Dam and I've just left the shop. I grabbed a couple of things, so hence why you could probably hear a bit of noise in the background from cars going past. So we're gonna head down to Wellington Dam and hopefully do a bit of a catch and cook. Now, I generally chase redfin perch down there as always. So if I can do um, a bit of a tempura with maybe some potato bites or something like that, a um, bit of, you know, rudimentary fish and chips, then um, yeah, that's the, the plan for that. If I don't catch anything, then I'm gonna be relegated to a just add water camp meal. Um, which actually aren't that bad, really. So it's not a huge consolation, but it is what it is. So, first off, however, we need to get down there. So you go get yourself a nice cold one, strap yourselves in, and I'll see you when we get to the campsite. Enjoy the drone footage, guys. Cheers. over there I kind of wish I bought me kayak now but it uh, yeah it's just an absolutely perfect day um, 22 degrees it's gonna cool off nicely overnight it is exactly what I was after you know what I might have a quick look down here and see what we've got <laughs> This is actually going to be pretty good. So, not a bad little, yeah, not a bad little spot. So, here we are, Collie River, and this feeds all the way down into Wellington Dam down the other end. And uh, yeah, I reckon this is going to be a, this is going to be a pretty mint little solo. So, here is the river down here, and I'm um, already seeing like heaps of movement and stuff like that. There you go, look at that. So I reckon this will be a perfect little fishing hole. It's a nice little corner on the river, little elbow there, as it goes all the way back down. All right, I reckon this is, uh, yeah, this is gonna be pretty mint. So the very first thing that we need to do is set up camp, and then I need to get that line wet, because like I said, if I don't catch anything, then, uh, then I'm eating, uh, honey soy chicken, just add water. I mean, it's it's not that bad. I mean, like, you know, they're pretty good, really, um, for what they are. But uh, I would certainly much prefer some, uh, some redfin tempura fillets with some nice little herby fried up potatoes. So yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna be good. Got this nice little rock formation here, and that's gonna be pretty cool. And uh, I reckon if we have a look at the water, we might even be able to see if there's any any fishies. Let's be a good spot little cast from. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's mint. All right, cool. All right, well, nothing to all but to do it. Let's get stuck in, 
get this um, campsite set up. Now I am gonna be putting the full awning and everything out this time. I am using the tracker swag this time, not the, uh, the stretcher tent like I did in the, the Dwelling Up River uh, solo camp at the start of the year. Um, so back to the uh, same system that I've been using for a while. I have replaced my tracker swag with a new one. Um, the other one was uh, it's pretty tired after the gun barrel. So I've uh, replaced that one. And uh, so thanks very much to Wild Track. It's a brilliant swag and uh, I'll just keep using those, I think. Um, now, whew, what do you reckon? Wind's coming from this side, awning on that side. I think I've, I've jagged that pretty well. Yeah, cool. Let's get this campsite set up. There we go, campsite is all set up and uh, what a ripper this one is. So the new tracker swag, um, it's slightly different to the other one. They've changed the, the cotton canvas out and this is uh, a bit better in the regards to that ripstop um, design. And it's also a gray color now, opposed to that much more green color that they had before. So that looks absolutely brilliant. All I've got to do in there is just throw my um, sleeping bag in. Everything else is all done, awning is up. And we also have one of the new additions to the camp setup is the K on table. Um, I'm gonna try something today. Um, my cooker's a bit gross, but she'll be right. Um, I'm gonna try something today. I'm gonna try and actually cook from this position here and see if it works. Now I've got a little uh, light, oh, <laughs> oops, I've got a little magnetic light um, that I can actually swivel around and, and have pointing down at the cooking area. And I'm gonna have my um, front runner table as kind of like my prep area. And that way I can kind of do it all like that. So you can see what I'm talking about just there, like that, cooking, prep, happy days. Now, one of the other things that Wildtrack has uh, given me recently is these cool little bad boys. Um, they're like a USB lantern, and I had something similar before, but they um, they didn't last the test of time, especially out in the gun barrel. But these are a little bit more of a sturdier design, and I've got one up here already. So these are absolutely brilliant, and you can just kind of like hang them off those spots or something like that. But one of the other things with them, check this out, magnetic. That's fantastic. So yeah, I'll be using those tonight. Um, and I've also got the under awning lights as well that I'll uh, use tonight because I remembered to bring the cables for them. Now, um, especially since last camp, one of the things that I forgot last time, last time was my reels, but I haven't forgotten this time. So I'm about to rig up my rod and get out for a bit of a flick. Um, the water looks pretty good and I may even have a bit of a dip. I've got my... Uh, my towel there and a spare change of clothes just in case I decide to, to jump in that beautiful looking water. Uh, but yeah, this is absolutely brilliant. So, Telfer chair sitting there, all good. Uh, yeah, Telfer. But uh, yeah, no, she's uh, not a bad little campsite this time. So I'm gonna rig up my fishing gear um, and then I'll see you guys down by the water and we're gonna have a bit of a flick and if we don't get anything just now, I'm not terribly phased because once the sun kind of starts to go down a little bit they might be back on the chew again so usually first thing in the morning last thing in the afternoon you can get them onto the chew um and i mean look i've caught redfin all day long um but i'm hoping yeah we'll uh, we'll be able to come up with the goods and that way we can have 
those tempura redfin fillets. Oh, I really hope I get one. I really hope I get one. Um, yeah, I, I had a heap of redfin that I, on the last video where Dusty and I went out in the kayaks, speaking of kayaks, this would just be brilliant. You've got a couple of lads over here with their kayaks and I am extremely jealous. Um, but yeah, I was talking to uh, Dusty about it. We want to do a kayak camp uh, sometime mid-year where we can have a fire. Now, there's a couple of people having fires here and I do believe you're allowed to have a campfire at the moment, uh, which is roughly the 18th of March. Um, I do, I do believe since the 15th, you're allowed to have campfires on Shire land and I believe this is Shire land but I'm not 100% sure. So as a result, I'm not gonna, I'm probably not gonna have one tonight unless it gets really cold, um, just to be safe because the statewide ban lifts on April 1st and that's when you can go, go gangbusters for it, um, which is only two weeks away, so I'm happy to wait a couple of weeks. Um, oh, it's not too hot. There's a, a slight breeze, like just enough to take the heat out of the day. The water looks amazing. We've got plenty of structure around here for that, um, for those redfin to hang about. Um, oh, this is so good. I needed this. I needed a decent solo getaway. You know, get away from those stresses of life, people. Do it, you know. All right. Oh, actually, one thing before I do go and set my rigs up. How good do the chopped jimneys look? The ones that are over at the Brizzy 4x4 show. You've got ones from both uh, Max Tracks and with uh, Darren over at Little, Little Rig and the, um, the company that he's working with, they look absolutely amazing. That is tempting. Um, I'd even try and do one with a five door. If I was ever, actually, to be honest, if I was gonna do one, yeah, I reckon I'd do it with a five door, that extra little bit in the back. Um, I was chatting to Darren about it and I was like, oh, what's the weight like, you know, in regards to the, how heavy is it? And yeah, it comes out pretty neutral actually, you know, not too much lost, not too much gained. Um, yeah, it comes, comes out pretty neutral by the sounds of things. So, whew, you know what people, that might be, uh, that might be a goer. That is such a nice looking rig now. Both of them, the Max Track one, looks like a mini little 79 series kind of thing. Like that is, that is special. That is a special looking vehicle. So it's even got the little bonnet scoop and stuff. Wowee. All right, well look, um, yeah, time to rig up the rod and have a bit of a flick. And then I am going to, uh, you know, once I've done that, um, I'll have a little bit of a chill out this afternoon. That's what I came out here for. Um, so I'm not gonna, just gonna film, film, film all day long. Um, but yeah, I'll have a bit of a chill out and then hopefully a bit more of a fish. I reckon, uh, yeah, the next time I'll see you'll be down by the water. And uh, then after that, dinner time. Whew. Beautiful day. What a beautiful day. All right, you go enjoy yourself and so will I. I wonder where you go. When we're in the same space You're more like a ghost In between a place And a feeling Alright, so I don't have the mic on guys So I apologise for the audio But look at all this movement over here, that's got to be fish, and it's got to be fish. See the, the action of the uh, This is one of the races edge rocks. The water is absolutely beautiful, crystal clear.
take all the blame Hold it in my hand If some should slip away So it's been a couple of hours now. I uh, had a bit of a fish before, didn't catch anything. I'm going to try again now in my last ditch effort to try and get some redfin for dinner. Um, like I said, I really would like those redfin tempura um, fillets with some of those potato bites that I'm gonna make. But in failing that, I do have that just add water meal. But even if I do just do that for dinner tonight, um, one thing I do have all set up for tomorrow is a, um, a big omelet ma uh, breakfast makeup. So that's gonna be cool. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, look, I'm gonna give it another crack, guys, um, but I'm only gonna give it maybe an hour. I don't wanna lose the light too much because if I do, then um, it's gonna be a bit of a pain to actually cook everything up anyway. I don't like cooking too late into the darkness. Um, both for filming and also I can't see what I'm doing, which is a giant pain in the ass. All right, so I'm gonna give that another crack. Uh, let's see, hopefully we'll get ourselves a redfin. Let's go. Come on, fishy. Alrighty, so um, yeah, we didn't catch any fish. What a surprise for Tony. Uh, so yeah, what we're gonna be doing now is a uh, just add water camp meal. Uh, this one is honey soy chicken. It's not too bad actually. Out of all of the ones that I uh, do have, this is by far the best one. Now with these um, little tip, make sure you give it a good shake up so all of the ingredients are evenly distributed. But also go get yourself one of these. It's a long spoon and allows you to actually get like right into there. Um, we're just gonna set up the jet boil. So leave a comment below. What is your kind of go-to emergency meal for when, um, you know, things don't go to plan? For me, these just add water. Uh, just add boiling water meals are, are pretty good. Um, you know, they, look, some of them are a bit how's your father, but, but this one's actually not too bad and it's certainly edible. Um, one thing that I'm thinking about doing in the future with the rig is actually putting in one of those little travel buddies and that means that I can just kind of throw a pie or whatever in there as a bit of a, a backup plan. Um, but yeah, now when, when with regards to the fish as well, look, I'm going to try again in the morning. Um, my intention was to get out of here about mid-morning, but if I get something in the morning, what I'll do is I'll, I'll hang around for, a, for an hour or two and I'll do like an early lunch and uh, have that as my departing piece. Um, but otherwise, um, when it comes to cooking up for this particular trip, I am going to be doing like a bit of a little gourmet omelette thing as well uh, tomorrow morning. So, you know, you'll still get some cooking. She'll be right. All right, so um, what are we going to do here? Um, this one requires... Um, da, 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 da. what does it say? Uh, fill up to uh, the label. What's the label say? 500 mil or two cups or Mount Everest. All right, so two cups, she'll be right. 500 mil, this is a 600 mil bottle. I always put like a tiny bit less, otherwise it ends up being a bit sloppy. Ah, H2O. All right, cool. All right, well, let's get this on the boil and uh, I'll see you in a moment.
All righty, so that's uh, now cooking away or doing whatever it does, rehydrating or whatever it is. Um, all right, so I'm going to just relax for a little bit. And once that's ready, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll sit down and have a bit of a chat while I scoff me dinner down. Um, yeah, look, a pretty good day though, overall. I mean, when you think about it, you know, easy drive out, mint little spot. Yeah, no fish, but you know, oh well, you know, I don't necessarily go fishing just to catch fish. I do it just for the relaxation of it. Um, I do, however, want to bring my kayak down here. This spot is, is pretty good. It, the um, like the water and everything like that it's pretty calm even when there's a little bit of a wind up it doesn't get too bad and yeah I think it would be a pretty uh, a pretty good spot to do um, like a kayak camp and there's plenty of trees and stuff around where I reckon I could string up um, like a hammock or something like that so I'm thinking about doing getting on the kayak um, and doing yeah, just like maybe even just these meals or whatever I catch, because um, I do catch heaps more on the kayak, um, and then do kind of like, you know, um, just like a jet boil or, or something cook up, um, and, but camp out of the, the hammock. I'm just not 100% sure how good that's going to be for the old spine, but um, we'll see how we go. Um, yeah, I think that would be a pretty, a pretty fun episode to do. Um, yeah, just kind of get out with the, the Jimny and drop the kayak off and then just, yeah, paddle up river and then come back and hope the Jimny hasn't been stolen, I guess. Uh, yeah, all right, cool. All right, well, I'll give this the, um, the uh, 10 minutes or whatever it is uh, for it to, to bubble away and then, uh, yeah, we'll sit down and have some dinner. Sounds good to me. But in the meantime, I think it's time for a, uh, a little bit of a sherbet. Um, also, keep an eye out for the... I'll talk about it in a minute. I'll talk about it in a minute. All right, I'll see you in a minute. All right, so dinner's almost ready. Um, means it's time to have a quick feed. Yeah, so uh, what's been happening lately? Well, um, I know that apart from the, the kayak video that's going up before this one, um, oh, I haven't put up much for a little while. Been a bit un, under the weather, but uh, she'll be right. But also been quite busy doing stuff with uh, Wild Track and the Full Drive Show. Um, I think we've got a few um, a few segments coming up on Channel 7 pretty soon, so yeah, check those out. That should be pretty fun. Now, um, the, uh, the thing that I was about to say before. So I'm going to do uh, a heap of shorts uh, coming up in the next coming uh, weeks, which are going to be called uh, Mighty Tits with, with Tony. And basically, they're just going to be like little... Um, just little funny kind of, you know, uh, make sure you remember this and all that kind of stuff. Don't forget your toilet paper. All those kinds of things. So yeah, I'll be doing those. So keep an eye out for those. They're pretty fun. Um, and they're just going to be like, oh, whenever I go out, I'll just film like, you know, a dozen of them and just kind of release them in between the, the main episodes that I'll be doing. Um, what I would like to do uh, in the coming months is I'm going to be doing a couple more collabs with Jetfish, hopefully West Australian Off-Road and a couple of the other lads, dads and lads and, and the like. Um, and also uh, I want to get out there and do some stuff um, with uh, Blair Hutton from Blair Hutton Fishing on the kayaks. So the kayak is great fun, um, really, it is really good fun actually. Um, and one of the things I do like about it is that my, my fishing average goes through the roof, which is, which is great. Um, yeah, so that's kind of stuff that's going to be coming up. Um, we've got some episodes that we're going to be doing up north um, in the next little while. Now that it's going to start cooling off up there, we're going to head north and do some stuff up there. And uh, yeah, so lots of some, some pretty cool stuff going on. Um, one, one thing I'd like to kind of do though is focus again a little bit more on finishing the last little bits on the car. Um, I've got some lights that I'm going to be putting on pretty soon with Phil the Mechanic. Um, and the uh, diff breathers as well are something else that I need to put on as well. So yeah, uh, lot, lots of little bits and pieces coming up. Um, no, I'm looking forward to it, looking forward to it. All right, so uh, how's this one go? Let's have a look. It's, um, it's about as ready as it's gonna be. It does taste better than it looks. We'll see how we go. We'll... Yeah, it's alright. It's alright. It does the job. Um, there's certainly worse ones out there. Um, I don't mind that, like, so I, I always get the slightly bigger one because I always finish the smaller ones and end up still a bit hungry. Um, but this is like the, I don't even know what brand it is, Country Kitchen or Backyard Country, <coughs> something. 
Uh, <coughs> bloody hell. Don't breathe in rice. Um, so yeah, uh, these aren't too bad. You know, there's a couple which are alright, but the, uh, the honey soy chicken is the only one that I really get. Um, it's actually something I learned a little bit on the Gunborough Highway was, um, and I've mentioned this before, these things are invaluable. They're really handy. Um, yeah, really, really good. Um, what I might do tonight is I might set up the GoPro on a, on a night lapse and I'll see if I can get some, uh, I don't know what the light pollution's like here. I've only come down here a couple of times, um, but if the light pollution's not too bad, I'll set up a, a time lapse with the external power supply on the GoPro. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, all right, so here's a question for you. Leave a comment below. What's something that you guys have as an emergency um, kind of food that you have? Um, whether that be, you know, baked beans, packet mixes like this or, or whatever. You know, the cold cuts, wraps and all, all the like. I know that the guys uh, like Chris and whatnot from the Full Drive Show, they always use uh, wraps. I've, seen, I've never seen someone eat so many bloody wraps. Uh, but yeah, these are all right though. Mm. Actually, there's one, 100% one dog food. I don't know which one it was, but God, it was rough. It tastes like I was eating dog biscuits. Yeah, really rough. Um, all right, guys, look, um, I'm gonna chill out. I'm gonna eat my dinner, um, and I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll set up this GoPro for uh, for a night lapse just as the sun goes all the way down. And then uh, I'm just gonna chill out, um, you know, listen to an audio book or some music or something like that and i'll see you legends in the morning um it's only just gone 5 30 is here now so yeah i've got a couple of hours of sunlight yet left let left yet and then um yeah i'll be jumping in my pit for a half decent night's sleep um see you in the morning and in the morning i'll have another quick fish just as the sun comes up and see if we get lucky if we do i'll stay for an extra couple of hours and do an early lunch and, and cook up those uh, those uh, tempura fish fillets because i'm uh, i'm pretty keen for those they're actually really tasty um if not however like i said i'm doing that omelette in the morning and uh, then we'll kind of get out of here but uh yeah brilliant day really really relaxing and um yeah nice just having a bit of a bit of a flicker might even just go down and and have another quick flick before I go to bed um, as the sun kind of gets a little bit lower. Um, and if I do catch something, what I'll do is I'll clean it up, throw it in the fridge, and then um, then we'll do that definitely tomorrow morning. But uh, we'll keep trying, and uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. Otherwise, make sure you head over and check out that kayak video if you haven't. Um, it's pretty good. And then make sure you subscribe and all that kind of stuff, because I've got some pretty cool stuff coming out. All right, see you then, and uh, yeah. Enjoy your evening. Hope your weekend's going as, as swimmingly as mine. This isn't too bad. I'm not just trying to convince myself either. It's actually, they're actually pretty good, these um, honey soy chicken ones. The other ones are a bit rubbish, but this one's good. All right, team. See you after. Well, good morning everyone. Um, that was, that was a really good night's sleep actually. That was fantastic. The only one bad thing that happened was, uh, I mean, my, my swag and everything was, was amazing. That was super comfortable. I didn't even want to get out of bed this morning, to be honest. But one thing that happened overnight is the wind kind of picked up a little bit and uh, unfortunately, <laughs> somehow my cooker came off the table and uh, look what it's done. Bloody hell. I've uh, bent up all of the bloody cowling on the top of the cooker, so I'm hoping it still works. I'll have to be careful of it, give it a crack. But uh, look, um, like I said yesterday, I'm going to have a quick fish, see if I catch anything. And if I do, then uh, we'll hang around a touch longer. If not, we'll uh, cook up this, uh, this omelette and maybe even some baked beans. Um, and I'm going to be using the Wild Track uh, collapsible pots and pans and stuff for that one, so that's really good. But yeah, the um, the water looks amazing. Hopefully, there's some fish that have decided that they're hungry this morning. We'll have a look. All right, well look, we'll grab the rod out. And uh, yeah, I did do a little uh, time lapse all night last night, but 
I don't know, I need to learn exactly how to set it up properly because I didn't get the stars. I only got uh, only got the sun kind of going down and coming up a bit, which it looked okay. Um, hopefully you like that, but uh, yeah, just got to mess with it, around with it a little bit longer, maybe open my shutter a bit longer for it. But yeah, we'll see how we go with that. Maybe next time I'll be able to get a bit of a longer one. Oh, there's the top of my jet boil. All right, cool. Let's get that rod ready and uh, hopefully have a little bit more luck. All right, I'll see you down the water. Okay, here we go. Hopefully we get something this time. That sun is beautiful this morning. Um, Go back down here off the rock. Usually these Scout 45s from Razor's Edge do a, a good job, but we've not much luck today. Sorry if I'm casting straight into the sun. That was a really good night's sleep. Hopefully that sun isn't blinding you guys out too much. I can only see when I get home to edit. It'd be perfect out here in the kayak. Next time, next time, one hundred percent bring in the kayak. Might even walk all the way around to the other side. Let's go for a walk around the other side, eh? All right, team, it is time to cook up some breakfast. It's been a, uh, a lovely morning, but the weather's changed just a tiny bit, and it's actually a touch cooler. So a nice warm breakfast is going to be absolutely perfect. So I've decided to switch things around a little bit, and I'm utilizing this K-On drop-down table on the back of the rig here, because it's just like this perfect little prep area. So what I'm gonna do is I've set up the Coleman Hyperflame over here. I've got a couple of these uh, Wild Track Leisure Australia um, collapsible pots and pans. Now I've been using these ones for a little while and um, these are absolutely brilliant. The thing I like about them the most is especially when it comes down to like micro overlanding and, the, and, and the, you know that kind of stuff, they nestle together really well and they just go back into my um, my little canvas tote there um, and they're just yeah really nice and compact but still pretty hardy. The other thing as well is um, they're actually like really good kind of like non-stick coating as well so when it comes to cleaning up after uh, just makes life so much easier. The thing, the thing about and I've said this before in other episodes the thing about camp cooking is I've got a bit just if you're wondering why I keep changing height I've, there's actually like a hole right here behind the table. Um, the thing about camp cooking is you want it to try and be as as hassle free as possible because unlike cooking at home where you've probably got access to things like your um, you know, like your dishwasher, you know, you've got knife sharpeners there, you've got, you know, uh, your oven and all those kinds of things. And then cleaning up after is considerably easier. Out here, it can be, um, you know, the, the cooking side of things can take time away from fishing or from, you know, running around with the kids or whatever it is that you're doing out in your campsite. So doing um, a camp set up like a cook setup where it's nice and easy to use and it's also like pretty um like pretty hassle free when it comes to cleaning up that's that's really uh that's really the key there and it was one of those things that i learned a lot out in the gun barrel highways try and keep things as simple as possible 
there is a time for elaborate camp cooked meals. There really is. And some of those things can be absolutely brilliant, um, especially once the fire ban season ends and I'll be able to get those, those uh, big wild track um, camp ovens out again then I'm gonna be absolutely cooking up a storm. However, today I want it to be nice and simple um, and I also want it to be nice and quick because I'm hungry and it's getting cooler and I want a nice warm breakfast. So what are we gonna look at today? Well, like I said before, we are gonna be having a omelet. So I've got a couple of eggs for the omelet and I've also got some um, tomatoes there, little comatos, I think they're called, um, little dark tomatoes. A little bit of red onion. I'm not gonna use the whole thing, obviously, otherwise it will kind of, uh, be a bit too much. Uh, I've got some bacon there, shortcut bacon. Ha <laughs> ha, Ethan, again, he loves the shortcut bacon. He tells me every day that shortcut bacon is his best and he loves it. And he only tells the guys in the chat that he likes long, you know, long cut, you know, streaky bacon because they pressure him into doing so. That's your secret, Ethan, it's out, mate. Um, look, <laughs> no, he hates it. I don't know why, I don't know why. I don't, know. I don't get it. I don't care, it's just bacon. Um, all right, so then I've also got these little, this little herby mix that I've made up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, um, I'm gonna peel up these, uh, these potatoes and cube them up, and then I'm gonna throw them in that mix, give them a bit of a shake, and then um, we will be uh, frying those up as well. So we're gonna have like a little bit of a, um, uh, kind of like a little bit of a little potato cube fry up thing. Um, depending on how much we cook, I'll also add some baked beans off to the side, and there's some cheese as well there for the omelette. So, here we go. Um, I reckon first and foremost, we'll get these potatoes going because they're probably gonna take the longest. Um, and then I'll also get the um, the baked beans on the fry, um, mix up my my uh, omelet mix, and then, yeah, let's, let's get stuck in. So first things first, let's get these potatoes on the way. Now, these do not have to be terribly elaborate. All you're doing is just peel and cube. That's it, there's nothing, nothing special about it at all. Always make sure you clean your hands before you get stuck into this kind of stuff, guys. Especially if you run around fishing, playing with fish, lure scent, anything like that. Make sure that you are well and truly clean. All right, here we go. Potatoes are peeled. Okay, <clears throat> let's get rid of this uh, this peel, throw it in the back of the bag here, where the rest of my rubbish goes. That's there, a little bit more there, throw in the back of the rubbish. Okay, now I'm just gonna cube these bad boys up. All right, when I say cube, I want them to be relatively small. All right, so. Okay. So relatively small, that kind of stuff, okay? So you can see there in the, the, the GoPro there. This is the other reason why I wanted to um, have the setup here and not the cook up here, is because I can have the GoPro above it uh, and you can see what I'm doing. So this is a new style of cooking with Tony. Tony's kitchen. Tony's camp kitchen. Maybe I should do a little segment. Tony's camp kitchen. As things get bigger on the channel. All right, so there's that on that one. And now let's quickly do the other one. One, two, three, four, boom, 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 boom. And the other one, boom, 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 boom. All right, so there we go, there's those ones. Now what we're gonna do is grab a little bit of the oils. Now I make up a, a little mix, half and half of the garlic rosemary infused oil and also the um, uh, just normal olive oil. Uh, the, the garlic and rosemary stuff's brilliant, but I find that it actually ends up being a tiny bit, um, tiny bit like uh, powerful, like a little bit too intense in regards to the flavour. So if you just, you know, oil it down a bit, water it down a bit, um, then yeah, it just makes it taste just a tiny bit better. All right, so there's actually a fair bit there, so I may not even need the um, the baked beans at this stage. So I'll just put those to one side, and I'll see how I go with those. And all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to Spray them in a little bit of oil. These things here for oil are brilliant. There's other ones which are like the pump ones, but these things here, you just uh, like the little, like a, almost like a windscreen window wiper thing. But this one, just give it a couple of pumps. 
All right, so there's a little bit of oil on those, so that will help those get coated. And then I'm actually just gonna pour them into the bag and coat them right up. Okay, because there's only like a very small amount of herb in there. All right, that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna be using that bowl to mix up the other stuff. So I'm gonna close that up. And then I'm gonna give that a big mix. Look at that. Look at that. How good is this? That's brilliant. That's lovely. Wow, well, hey. that's gonna taste amazing. All right, so what I'm gonna do with that is I am then going to make sure I've got plenty of oil in the pot because I'm gonna do these ones in the pot. Uh, I do have a second uh, skillet there, but uh, that's more for the steaky, burgery kind of meals. Um, so I'm just gonna use the pot for this one. Plenty of oil, because uh, I've always, I can always use a bit of paper towel to soak up any excess oil after the uh, thing. So let's get that one going. All right, now the common might uh, explode because it hit the deck last night, I don't know. Um, so yeah, all right, so we got that. Now let's just quickly wipe out that bowl so I don't get any potato juice in there. <laughs> All right, that one there, cool. All right, and now let's start going with this, this omelet. There's one, hopefully no shell in there. Throw that in the bin. And where's the other one going to do? Cool. Oh, egg everywhere, no shell, fantastic. Now I'm going to give this one just a tiny little bit of uh, milk. I forgot to bring butter. I always forget something. This time it's butter. Sometimes it's toilet paper. Whoop. A little bit of milk in there. Doesn't have to be much. That's plenty. A little bit more. Here we go. All right, making a mess. There's that. I better clean that up before it gets everywhere. All right, cool. And then I'll we'll start mixing this one up. So, standard scramble. Probably should have grabbed the uh, the full fat milk. For some reason I grabbed high low. As long as there's a little bit of creamy goodness in there, it should be good. All right, looks like we've got plenty of heat now coming off the these potatoes. All right. Oh yeah, listen to that sizzle. Brilliant, okay, so those potatoes are looking good. I need like a third GoPro. I wonder if I can get the other one. Where's the other one? Did I throw it in my pit? Yeah, I did too. All right, here we go, third GoPro, let's, let's do it. All right. Okay, there you go guys. I don't have much power left on this one, but there you go, so that's those those bad boys sizzling away there. They're fully coated in the oil. So I'll let them go for a bit. Okay, that one's still going. Happy days, boop. All right, cool. Now, let's start chopping up a little bit of this um, stuff here. Rubbish in the bin. Always put your rubbish in the bin, please, guys. Okay, and I only want like a tiny bit, like that's heaps. Maybe, maybe one more, bugger it, one more. There we go, cool. All right, so I only want a little bit and I just want to really finely dice that one up. There we go. Dice, 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 dice. Luke uh, from Wildfire Touring is gonna to be watching my knife skills and just shaking his head at the moment, I reckon. So, but, Sorry, Luke, I'm not a A-grade chef -o like you, mate. This guy makes some amazing food. Like, I'm, I'm rubbish compared to this guy, but uh, tell you what, really nice lad as well. So is Ethan, even though he's hung up a bit of bacon. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tell you what, that smells amazing. You know what? More oil. More oil! Don't 
The only thing about these hyper flames is they're kind of hard to turn down. They're either like full, full noise or nothing. So, all right, bit of oil in this pan because I'm going to start getting this bacon going as well. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. Cool. Plenty of oil. Loves a bit of oil, old Tony. All right, so I'll just pop that one to one side. Okay. And that one goes in there. And that one goes in there. All right, now we're going to chop up the tomatoes. These ones don't need to be uh, super duper chopped or anything. Just a just a basic cube. I don't know what you call that. What do you call that, Luke? A thing? Chopped? Just chopped? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe I'm overcomplicating it like I do with my things in my life. All right, cool. Uh, pop that one there. Give that a bit of a, a bit of a stir. All right, and now let's get some of this bacon. Bacon. All right, three bits of bacon. Why not? Maybe that's four. No, that's three. All right, I do want to make this a little bit smaller. To be fair, that's why shortcut bacon exists is for things like this, because you just want it to be a bit smaller. People are going to tell me, no, no, Tony, use full bacon, full rash of bacon. No, I don't really care. There we go. That's the other one going. Well, these ones are almost ready. I'm going to take them off the heat for a little while. Is it that way? There we go. Take those off the heat for a little bit. Now I'm going to get the bacon going. Hopefully I don't drop too much of it. Um, there we go. And I'll give you a bit of an idea of what it's looking like on the cook at the moment. Ba, ba, ba. All right, I want this to be nice and quick, hence why I'm doing it in real time. GoPro! Come on, there we go. All right, so yeah, there's the bacon on the, on the cook. Brilliant, and look at those little potato cubed up little chippies, little herby wedgy chippy things. That should do the job, cool. All right, so let's get that bacon. Now, what, what we want is the bacon to be like only, like not completely fried or busted up or anything like that. You just want it to be, you know, starting to get there kind of thing. And then we'll put the, the stuff. Now, we've got the cheese here at the end as well to cheese it up a bit. And then I've also got my serving plate. Uh, I'm not going to use the second one of these, so I'll pop that to one side, I'll pop this stuff to one side, um, and I'll throw that in the bin. So yeah, what do you like to cook up for your breakfast? So I've usually done things like um, the old bacon and egg uh, rolls, that they're always a hit with the boys, um, and also done a lot of um, uh, scrambled eggs as well, actually. Eggs seem to, eggs and bacon seem to to feature a lot in my stuff. Well, let's give these a test. Wow, wait. Wow, they're actually really good. Oh, I can't wait. Mmm. I mean, maybe need a touch longer though. Don't tell me I'll run out of gas. No? This gas bottle's probably getting a bit low. Just gonna give those a little bit more of a cook now. I'm taking the bacon off the heat a little bit. I'm gonna throw my egg in. And I do want that omelette to kind of go all right. 
All right. Evenly distribute some of these ingredients. Now this might turn into scramble. We will see. I've got a funny feeling I'm running out of gas here. Luckily, I have the big bottle over here. So let's pull out the big bottle. I usually use the big bottle on when I'm set up for a bit longer, but uh, should be right. All right, so big bottle. Unscrew this one. It's like uh, a pit crew. Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah, that one's empty. <laughs> Check your gas bottles. I think I just did a uh, Tony's tips on that. All right, so. gas bottle. Hopefully that one's actually got some juice in it. Candy. All right, cool. There we go. There we go. Now we're cooking. All right, so we're back online. All right, so uh, that's all done. Now, over here, just time to move some stuff around, get rid of some stuff. That's gonna go back in the fridge. Clean that up. All right. Try and clean it later. Cool, cool, cool. All right, with these little potato things, you gotta make sure you keep moving them around. If you don't keep moving around, they'll burn, won't be any good. All right. Okay, now the, the idea here is to keep the omelette not sticked. <laughs> oh, it's looking good. It's looking real good. If you can get some of that, that omelette to the side. That's the ticket. All right, cool, almost done, almost done. Time to get some of this uh, cheese in the middle. Oh, oh, that is looking good, guys. We'll get that GoPro. Before we do the flip. Okay, there's a bit of cheese in there. The other GoPro. That one can turn off now. They are well and truly done. All right, look at that. Whoo-wee. That is looking good. All right, let's uh, ease up on the heat there. And we're gonna flip this over. Oh, it's looking real good, guys. It's looking real good. Oh, I might've actually pulled this off. Everything, oh, no, it's starting to break it. Oh, don't do that, Tony. A oh, tiny bit got stuck, but let's see if I can salvage the presentation. All right, let's see how we go with this, all right. Oh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Look at that. Get that back in there. It's not too bad, it's not too bad. All right, let's have a look at this presentation here. All right, let's see how this goes. Look at that. And we've got some of these little potato bites on the side. Wish I had a bit of garnish to make it look, uh, look a bit nicer. Jesus, that's a lot of food for one person. <laughs> All right, there you go, guys. So, omelette, bacon, tomato, 
a little bit of red onion and some cheese, and then also some of those herby potato bites that I was actually gonna have with the uh, tempura fish. But I'm gonna have my breakfast because I am, uh, I could eat my own head, I'm hungry as, hungry as. So, um, apart from that, guys, I think that this might be a good place to close out the episode. Even though I wanted it to be a catch and cook episode, I've had a brilliant time down here, down by the Collie River. It is beautiful. Um, it's been quiet. The weather has been absolutely amazing. There's been a light breeze, but it hasn't been too bad, apart from my my poor cooker getting blown off the table at one stage last night. Scared the shit out of me, by the way. Um, but look, it's been amazing. And if you're like me and you are a, an overlander camper kind of guy, girl, um, head out by yourself every now and then. I know that I always go out with mates and stuff like that, but coming out by yourself and doing a couple of solos is just phenomenal. It's great. It, you become hyper aware of everything in the bush. Um, it's really good. So I highly recommend it. Okay, guys, look, I'm going to get stuck into my breakfast. Thank you very much for watching. This has been uh, another episode of The Mighty Overlander. If you have liked this episode, please subscribe to the channel. It does help out a hell of a lot. I try and release content as regular as possible. And, uh, you know, we've got some good stuff coming up. So, yeah, thanks very much, guys. Enjoy, and I'll see you next time out in the trails.